Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this new stream. As you can see I'm still setting up. I got a massive delay. And yeah, that is why I'm still setting up. <coughs> Trying to get all the systems working. Which is not yet cooperating. Not even sure if I'm properly live yet. I'm pretty sure that I am not yet properly live. Oh, now we are. Let's kick the monitor. There we are. There we are. We're live! Okay, so I'm still setting up stuff. Let's put the flight plan in. Uh, uh, well, basically everywhere. So, SPZO, Kimor, Kirk, Ilmox, Yul, and Laco, SLL. P. Let's copy that. So now it is uh, almost everywhere where I wanted it to be. So in VPilot, in YouTube, and of course in. Discord. All right. Now let's keep on setting up. This is a weird, weird approach. Not a lot of options. Ten left. Let's try that. Hello. Will you shush? Come on now. Here we go. Straight in, just like we like it. And almost not found. Going to look into that in a little bit. Let's fuel up the aircraft and kick out the co pilot. We don't need him. We got Discord. Ha ha ha. Conditions all set to live. Navlog 17,000 feet. Good lord, I better take some extra air. Uh, Ilmox might be Ilmox. All right. So, Ilmox. Put that in V pilot. Set the altitude correctly for seventeen thousand. That is going to be hard work for this little Cess now. All right. By the way, in a way, it is going to be flipping impossible for the Cessna, where its ceiling is basically. What was that? 15. Anyway, let's pick a ramp. Let's put number 5 in. Get the show on the road. Two hundred and eighty-eight nautical miles of pure terror because of the mountains. 
All right. Well, let's go. I hope that with the new updates, uh, the airport will be reachable. But they did a lot of altitude uh, trimming, changing stuff like that. So it is going to be tough. As in, not just a little bit tough, but tough, tough, tough. Alright, let's figure out where the hell they put me this time. We need to do to get the flip out of here. We'll basically taxi over here and get going. And this is another bug. The windows don't stay the same size. There, I like that better. Now let's take a look around. Oh yeah. We are needing a pushback for sure all right back to the cockpit let's get rid of you battery avionics let's boot up the system make sure we can go Request a pushback and then lift off, hopefully. Here he comes. Now on the Discord, uh, we have the Martin. Don't think he is watching the channel yet but we are being pushed back but that guy is going to ruin my paint job once again get that right please yourself oh, come on here guys all right And just to help him out a little bit and not damage my plane, let's get the parking brake off. After which we can start the engine and start a taxi. Now then, that should do. So let go of me and get out of here. Let's check the flight control surfaces. Seem to be working. All right, he is off. Let's start her up. The heck happened here? Oh boy, we're already at 10,000 feet, so mixture. Let's... Yeah, I think this should be okay. Check the engine real quick. Stuff seems to be working. All right then. Taxi lights on. Let's go. First, uh, 
Let's use Fat Spy. There is nobody even remotely close to us. So I guess we're going to go. Uh, check the audio. Seems to be all functioning all right. Let's check this one. All right. Yeah, that's all happening on the other screen, folks. So not a lot I can do about that. I can't really figure out how to show you guys that. But okay. Somebody popped up behind me. You guys may want to get out of here. Oi. Got him. Chopped him in half. <laughs> Alejandro. Uh, we may uh, want the connective V pilot actually uh, to communicate there. File the flight plan. And I didn't get the stuff properly set up. Wanted to decimal eight to communicate because there's nobody online. That'll do. Let's set the altitude, 17. Yeah, this is going to be hair raising. Alright, left taxi out. Again, there's nobody in the area, so basically no need for a call out whatsoever. All right, we are on a roll. It does look beautiful over here, but I don't think it compares to real world just yet. And who has had that great mind to think of an airport in the middle of a city? So we're going to taxi out to the end. Then, just for good measures, we're going to give a shout out. Get out of here. What is the temperature like up here? Nine degrees. That should do. Martin, who has just joined us on Discord, said he is coming along and probably wants. Yeah, he just confirmed it. He wants me to uh, hold short of the runway so he can 
join in the video. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Well, and since there is absolutely nobody else in the area, we can safely hold short. By the way, everybody who likes this, uh, yeah, you're free to join anytime you like. Alejandro Valesquez, traffic. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima holding short runway 10 anticipation of uh, second aircraft accompanying me. So let's go to the side here. This looks like a proper parking space for a Cessna 172, doesn't it? There we go, perfect. So, parking brake set, waiting for the Martin. <coughs> Shoot, I was taxiing with the landing lights on. Well, let's keep the landing lights on for now. And have a look around. Where is he? Where is he? That would be me engaging uh, the uh, voice. Where is he? We're burning fuel here. Oh look, one of the big semis that I'm uh, driving currently. Uh, well, not currently, but uh, that's my day job. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm starting the simulator now. What type of aircraft will you be using? I will take uh, like, uh, um, uh, Cessna. Thank you. All right. Oops. The heck? My head switch is not responding. Uh, the entire joystick is not responding. I'm now looking on flight radar and there are a lot of planes holding over Mallorca because there is a storm. Uh, testing 1-2, is my audio okay? Because my uh, uh, my joystick is not responding. Everything works, I don't know. And we're back. All right. Uh, let's hope it keeps on working. 
Martin, what is your call sign going to be? Uh, Oscar Quero para o Oeste. Yeah, I don't see you yet then. I'm still something just like It takes so long. Yeah, especially after the first few updates. Um, okay, then while I'm waiting for you, um, I hope you can uh, see me. I'm uh, holding short runway 10. I'll uh, go and have a quick pee pee and be back. All right, and we're back. We are back. <coughs> now, let's have a look around. More semis. But no other Cessna yet. I'm going to have to refuel right. This is taking ages. How's your sim doing, Martin? And while we're waiting for him to respond, put the flaps up to max. They actually work. Tra la la la. Twiggly dee dee. I'm going to get a copyright strike for that. <laughs> no, let's not do that. There. All right. Now I'm going to time switch. Come again. Okay, I'm here. Uh, I'm spawned now. Okay. Okay, uh, Don't see you yet. I 
I don't know how to start this hustle. Alright, let's go find him. That's why I wanted to take a uh, Cirrus. A Cirrus? Where's the box that I switch? Wait a minute, where is he? Okay, battery. I don't see I you in the seam yet. Okay, but because I'm not on what I'm still. Oops, can't kill but for about this game. Just now one, two, the two. I see a see bunch of cops two. and that's all I see. Well yeah, you except only for some uh, commercial aircraft. Go see me in a second. Okay, now you may see me. How long do Serbian uh, uh, seconds usually take? Can okay, you tell me how to how this plan works? Still don't have you. Okay, uh, I'll just start the engine. Propeller on us, master switch out. Ignition, yeah. Are you cheating again with a, uh, a white body jet? No, I have this now. But I don't know how to start the... Turn the key. Okay, Navalize. Beacon. I see one pushback guy, but uh, oh, I don't oh, see you. I, I, I need to have... I'll show you my screen as I need to help with starting the aircraft. I don't know how to start it. Uh, well, we're at 10,000 feet already, so pull back on the mixture a little bit and just simply turn the key. I guess. Yes, now he's working. Nice. I hear something. Oh, where the heck is he? Okay, uh. Now, let's go for taxi. Where is he, folks? I can hear him, but that's about it. To the aircraft. Not where are you? Because I see you. Well, you're seeing more than me because I don't see you yet. No, I don't, but same. Uh, okay, I don't see you. Are you on the taxiway yet? Yeah, but I'm taxiing. Uh, yes, I see you. And now I see some flickering lights as well. But no name tag yet. I don't think he was here. Well, that is bizarre. In it? Yeah, I'm 10,000 feet already. Uh, yeah, and I was uh, approaching with my drone camera towards you because I did see the flickering lights and they were gone. I think something in the latest update, the mandatory one, uh, did not go very well. The main thing is you see me. I got nothing. I mean, I hear you, but I don't see you. Okay, I'll try to reconnect. You're rebooting? 
Uh, there we are, you're right in front of me right now. Okay. Uh, Full throttle. Okay, uh, what are we just now? Our we are uh, currently at 10,360 feet. Okay, Chris, I did this 170. Correct, 170. Okay. Okay, uh, we are going first. Go first. Alright, line up and I'll be right behind you. Okay. Let's take the parking brake off uh, before heading onto the runway. Alejandro traffic, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima is now lining up uh, for runway 10, runway 10. Well, you're in front of me. It, uh, you're in front of me, so it would be logical for you to take off first. Okay. If you want. Let's hold. It's just back. nice, so slow at this high altitude. It's like on Chiguala Airport. Just check your mixture, uh, sir. Alright, he is gone, so we're right behind him. Full flaps, full throttle, full everything except the mixture, and here we go! That's right. Hit the heading bug, because we may actually need it. Just right in front of us. Oh boy. Oh, the aircraft is struggling so hard to get airborne. This altitude is so rough on these type of aircraft because of the natural ceiling. And for those that don't know, the ceiling, uh, that is the bit where you cannot get any higher. So you basically need to overstress the aircraft just to live. But we are airborne. And we are very slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stall. Hey, firm. I'm so sorry. I'm not dead yet. Alright, FLC. We have plenty of room over there. Oh. Yeah, Let's I'm make sorry. sure I'm we sorry. don't die oh. here yet. Engine failed for some reason. Check your mixture, sir. All right, FLC has now taken over, and let's give this a try. <laughs> and let's use the heading to get through that valley, so we may actually stop dying. Yeah, I'm taking off from the highway. Rather challenging, isn't it? Yes, I'm taking off from the highway. These what? 
goalie is not visible, that's for one thing. But at least this takeoff has been so much better than the previous one, where I had to restart it again. And I do think that the Martin... It's impossible to take off. Oh, it's possible, I did it. Buddy, you can do it. Hi, thank you from Summer Rocks in the middle of the world. I'm just thinking. Play with the mixer a little bit, listen to the engine. Maybe we need to get just a little bit more out of the Sorry, didn't hear you, uh, but I do see you sort of uh, spinning around. What is happening? Uh, there was a long one. Flaps are up. We're climbing faster now. I still use the FLC to get to where we need to go. But then at 72 knots. Martin's still behind us. Give it this chance for me. Oh. Unable to copy, please repeat and louder. Above the highways, uh, where, where about are you? Behind me, right? Can't see you yet, I but uh, so. uh, the volume of your microphone is uh, very yeah. low, sir. I have to guess what you say. I'm trying to climb. This is a lot more interesting than a flying computer, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Now let's see, we are at 11,000... I died three times, but... We are now at 11.4, uh, aiming for 1.7.0. Climb. What is your current airspeed? 15 knots. Okay, I'm doing 72 and I'm using the FLC. I assume you have that? Uh, what, what is FLC? If you look at the YouTube screen, uh, uh, do you have the same cockpit as I have? Exactly! Uh, wait, 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 I'm stuck. All right. Well, uh, there's this magic button right above the altitude uh, uh, settings, and it says FLC. That is flight level change. Oh, okay. That's if you nice. use that, you can use the nose up and nose down buttons to set the speed you want to be at. I set mine to 72 knots, and the aircraft takes care of itself as long as you do press the AP button. Okay, that's useful. Uh, yeah, very useful because it figures out on its own uh, where you should be able. 
Now, of course, there is a lot of trouble ahead, like mountains. But with the FLC uh, and the computer figuring out stuff on its own, uh, we should be able to live and breathe. How about that? In magic, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go, let us go, let's see something on the Okay, it is a level change. I think it's a level change or something. In, uh, in Flight level change, FLC. And what they like in more planes, I think it's, uh, it's a level change button. Well, it's a, a magic button that saved my ass a lot of times already. Approaching Kimor in 1.7 nautical miles. Okay, I'm starting to do us now and uh, climbing. So. And Kimor is at 11,100, so you should be okay. Here yeah, we go, folks, still full thing. throttle. And we may have to veer right a little bit. To avoid the extra mountains. <coughs> Sorry about that. But then uh, we are on our way to the waypoint Oyuk. I don't know how can I be alive. Uh, well, you got indefinitely uh, a indefinite amount of new lives here in the simulator. So please don't die. <laughs> I still don't see him, he's in the valley I right behind me. I start to the road, then start to, the, to some building, uh, and then crashed into the road. Okay, so a bit of a challenge, to be honest. I feel like you when you were thinking of uh, from Chiguara Airport. Well, I prepared the aircraft. Uh, if you seen the beginning of the video, uh, the engine actually stalled while uh, simply starting up. So I changed the mixture. Do you know how to do that in a, seven, a, one, a Cessna 172? The red thing. The red thing. Yeah, the red knob. It is out for about 50%, as you can see on the YouTube right now. And that kept me going. It gives the engine enough oomph. <laughs> To to keep me going. Outside air temperature hey, three degrees. Uh, by the way, I just noticed it is three degrees outside, so you may want to activate the pedo heat. Okay, and that's why it got this one like on the ice. Say again, the microphone volume it's of something your something like uh, anti ice. Uh, it, it is exactly anti ice. It keeps your altimeter from freezing and uh, it keeps the computer happy. And also, it keeps you alive. How about that? Okay, we need to find you on the traffic. Uh, okay, you turn a little bit to right. What way, what are you direct now? Uh, current heading is 132. And oh, that is because. Yes, uh, that is because I'm not yet high enough to clear the mountains. Okay. So I'm staying in the valley, climbing slowly, incredibly slowly, but uh, I'm climbing uh, nonetheless. So I hopefully won't die. And I'm going to put my FLC speed to 65 knots. To climb a little bit faster. <laughs> now I was at 72. Okay, 65. Let's have a Come again. Are you still on heading 132? Current heading 132, correct. And I'm going to do that until the end of the valley, 
and when I'm high enough uh, to uh, exist above the snow peaks that I'm seeing, uh, then I will return back to the magenta line. That is a lot of high peaks and a lot of what snow. Is beautiful here in the mountains, it? Come again, uh, say current altitude, please. But it is beautiful in the mountains here. It looks so nice. Yeah, I see that every week during my job, but um, the simulator does not. It doesn't do it justice just yet. It takes a little bit more work by a servo. And everybody that is watching, please leave a comment. Okay, I'm still having fun people. If you leave a comment, I will respond to it. I'm not having fun people. Uh, Martin, your uh, uh, microphone is very, very, very low in the volume. Can you please turn it up a little bit? Uh, <laughs> I feel the maximum. Alright, then uh, the microphone needs to be closer to your mouth like you just uh, just now. Uh, no need to be shouting, but... You know... Okay, I can, uh, I what can actually are you still you. heading? What heading are you? 132? 132, and I'm going to continue okay. 132 until I'm above the mountains. Okay. Okay, maybe I will be a little bit fast with that, so I will catch up with you. Okay. Uh, not... I'm still climbing 65 knots, uh, currently at 135. I'm 123. You may want to climb. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, this right dot right here could be him, but I'm not sure. And in the meanwhile, we are still full throttle. So okay, when will we increase the right? Well, not yet, because uh, we are not at altitude yet, we are not yet on the magenta line, so a lot of things can go bad in a real big hurry if we increase sim rate right now. And then again, it's only a 288 nautical mile flight. <laughs> on top of that, I'm not bored yet, are you? <laughs> you may want to increase your altitude rapidly. I'm about to overfly a mountain peak and it is barely leaving my aircraft alone. My wheels may even start spinning. I'm still at maximum throttle. Uh, those mountain peaks that I refer to are at uh, 139. Okay, I mean. Still one three zero. Okay. I'm now at uh, uh, fourteen thousand, one four thousand, climbing for seventeen. Uh, seems to be a safe altitude.
Want it to be better to, to change the earnings to the killer eye? Did I copy you say again? If we want me to change the heading a little bit, like to turn a little bit right, so we will be on the, our own. Uh, you're the captain of your aircraft, so if you want to change the direction, feel free. I'm following you, I'm doing the same things like you. <laughs> you actually see me? I don't see you. But I'm heading for the magenta line right now. Okay. And I'm going to let the autopilot take over for a little bit, I guess. I think, I hope. I really think that this right dot, that is Martin, but he's got no name tag and no nothing. Now, for those that don't know, uh, the magenta line that I was referring to is this one right here, as same as you can see on the map and this middle piece shows how far off I am from the magenta line uh, the exact GPS route now this one will move in when I get closer and move out when I uh, go further away from it you will see this one this middle piece start to line up with the rest of the arrow and when it does, and when I'm above the uh, danger zone in the artificial horizon, I will then hit the nav button. When I do that, the aircraft will start to take on its course. But we are not yet above the magenta line. You can see this line closing in. So I'm going to have to uh, change course myself so I can keep a little bit of the uh, control if you will because we are not going to make it above this peak right there Martin new course 145 May I uh, enable navigation? If that is what you uh, want to do, enable navigation. I changed course because of a peak ahead uh, to 145. Okay, 145. Because I seriously doubt uh, we can top that one just yet. I'm barely climbing at 14 and a half. Uh, we need a few more thousand feet safe. Yeah, but I don't, I don't even think I will manage. Yes, you can. Come on, believe in yourself, Captain. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to have to... Okay, I... I don't even know if I was uh, FK, but I crashed the bit of one. <laughs> Say again? And I crashed to the mountain before I look at it later. Okay, did you guys hear the I engine rev up? Try and find the sweet spot so we get to climbing. And we can see right here, we are now climbing 200 feet a minute. And that is hopefully going to be enough for the peaks that we are approaching. But we're Barely looks like we're climbing at all. Let's play a little bit with that mixture button. Martin, start climbing, sir, uh, because a 14.7 is not going to cut it. Play with your mixture. See what gives the engine the most oomph. Now, of 
according to the map, we should be able to veer right for a little bit and hopefully then clear. Okay, this will be close. Let's go close. Sir, I have had uh, mountains where I literally had to uh, roll over them just to get past by them. And they are uh, ahead in our journey. And Mega says, where are you? Well, Mega, I'm going to tell you. Uh, we left from Alejandro Velasco Astetti Airport and we're going to El Alto. So it is Peru to uh, shoot. Peru to I knew the name Bolivia. Bolivia, that's it. That's where we're going. But we are a party of two currently and we are in trouble because of altitude. Look at the snow. Attempt this at freezing temperatures without the pedo heat on. Full throttle still because we're climbing. The mixture is almost idle because we are well above what our little Cessna 172 is uh, hoping for. And we're, are, we are going to breach its ceiling. The Cessna 172 is uh, designed with a ceiling of 15,000 feet, which is where we are now, and we are going to push it even harder, way higher, because we're dumbasses like that, and we want to get to the next airport. So yeah, that. Why we didn't take it through the valley? Uh, it will be safer. Say again? We, if we took out, uh, if we took like uh, the plane through the valley, it will be much safer. Go ahead, do it. I think I found a route where at my altitude I may survive. You don't have to follow my exact route, of course, uh, which I just now changed my few degrees to 148, 149, by the way. Uh, you know why? Every pilot uh, has to make sure to get from A to B uh, safely, without scratching the paint of the uh, aircraft. You're at 140, okay. At the magenta line, I see. I'm following. I'm going to make a looping. Uh, are you going to follow that as well? <laughs> I, <no>, probably. <laughs> so if you crash, I'm crashing first. Uh, well, I was kind of hoping not to crash because then I have to refly the entire leg. Simply because I want to prove that I flew this route before. I'm seeing familiar places and this time around I am simply putting it on YouTube just to be able to say aha I did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's veer to the right a little bit. It looks a little nicer. Especially I hope this I'll be right here. Hi, so I I will not want to crash the mountain in, the, in, in front of me. Come again? I'm above the mountains like you, but I hope I won't crash. Well, okay. either your connection or my connection isn't the best. Uh, either one of the two. Uh, can you please repeat again? I'm sorry. It is okay. either uh, your connection I or I am uh, above the mountain you are now, and I'm hoping I won't crash. Oh shit, I got a 500 warning, crossing the peaks. 
I need to overfire this one thing. Through him, it's small about it. Look at how close I am! I'm seriously close to landing on top of the mountains. Come on now. Full of snow here. Time to panic. That is what it's called. Yeah, so high that we have snow in here. Right now? Right now I'm at uh, 15,320 and I got the 500 warning. This is epic and it's not over yet. One of the uh, next episodes is going to be even tougher. Okay, what's your heading? 157. Correct, sir. 157 degrees. Okay, thanks. Okay. <coughs> We're at 15.5, aiming for 17,000. Barely any climb left, yet it says 250 a minute. Let's let it be for... I think this plane isn't built for such high altitudes. Correct, sir. Uh, the altitude of the Cessna 172 is 15,000. And as you can see on the YouTube, we do not have any oxygen on board, so we are both suffocating and well, basically Living on Bordeaux time, we are dead anyway. No matter if we land, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't have a pressurized cabin. Uh, we don't have anything resembling good luck even. But okay, I'm on the magenta line, let's hit that nav button. I am pretty confident at this point. And let's inform Martin. Uh, Martin, I am now on the magenta line and hit the nav button. So, hopefully, I survive. I'm right. Looks like Martin decided to do the same. I'm uh, uh, Martin, are you high enough? What's <laughs> your altitude currently? I crashed into the mountain. What's that okay. You crashed? Okay, I'm alive again. Uh, did we just hear a certain Martin cheat a little bit? A little, a little bit. I uh, I needed a uh, little bit. Uh, use slow mode to just not die, but I died still. Yeah, I was referring to a certain Martin. Not sure if it was you, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to survive. Well, it seems like currently we are in the clear. We can actually rest for a little bit. 16,040 feet, climbing ever so slowly. We're even going into the minuses, but the aircraft is struggling so hard. It is doing its best. I don't think any aircraft in the virtual world has ever worked harder than this one. And let's try to tweak the 
mixture just a little bit more hopefully pushing the engine just a little bit harder to get to that 17,000 okay, good altitude I think. you are right behind me on the map you are now at what altitude sorry uh, 154 I think you should be okay over there. I hey, saw you are saying that we are now dying in the system. Without oxygen. Say again? Yes, we are now dying without oxygen in the system. At what altitude do you need either a pressurized cabin or oxygen, sir? In 10,000. Correcto! And what altitude are we now? 150. So, Look at the connection part uh, where you can connect to oxygen in your Cessna. And that's where. I've zoomed in it uh, uh, on the YouTube. Okay, and so what may they do with it? <laughs> well, basically you're dead. <laughs> okay. Or we can, for sim's sake, imagine that we have oxygen. <laughs> well, let's uh, try not to die on this flight, okay? I died already. Actually, dying would perfectly ruin your day, so let's not do that. I sent a picture of my uh, crashing. That is quite the obituary, sir, uh, showing me where exactly you died. <laughs> okay, I think I'm in safe altitude. I am at uh, one six thousand four hundred climbing uh, I'm starting to feel relatively safe right now because on the artificial horizon there's no more mountain peaks that is gonna hurt my aircraft what do you see I see you say I'm in one five one five nine one six zero now and I think I'm safe uh, you may uh, Die less quick, but let's go to 17,000 anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't think if 17,000 is enough is enough for the mountains that are far away from us, but uh, I think we will crash. Well, that is what the uh, simulator suggested. Uh, instead of the normal uh, 13,000. And let's be honest, at 13 we would have been dead and buried already in our aircraft. I think so. I know so. Uh, I'm at uh, 64, look at how low I am above the mountains. We have an aircraft behind us. 
which is a, a come on, come on, Cessna 700. Not sure about that model, but okay. Is that you I'm seeing in the uh, 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 in YouTube stream? <laughs> in the Cessna uh, 700 and a really long no, name. No, that's not me. That's someone else. Okay. Uh, in that case, I don't see you. I'm trying to catch you. I'm a little bit. Uh Faster than the last, then seven to last now. No idea. Well, still full throttle. It is thirty four miles to Ilmox. Let's check the engine. Revs are low, but fuel efficient. Fuel flow is in the green, pressure is in the green, oil temperature is in the green, exhaust gas temperature is eerily cold because it is freezing here. Uh, the vacuum in the green and our fuel quantity is okay for days. So I'm feeling relatively okay right now. Before I start panicking, I really need to go and quick pee pee uh, break. So be right back, folks. and we're back still no sign of Martin but we are approaching I don't know, I don't know, uh, 17, say again uh, if you are in 17,000 already uh, 169 I'm at 167 hi I'm at And if I look, I see your red light uh, flashing. I was kind of hoping to see you as well, but I don't yet. Where is? 
Okay, run over the, uh, right here. behind me, but I don't uh, see it. Increase the uh, semi. Do you hear me? Hey, firm. Yeah, uh, when will we increase the right? Uh, we can increase right now until we get to uh, Juliet Uniform <laughs> Lima. Lima. Uh, because then there's a bend uh, towards El Laco. And then after El Laco, we need to start the descent. Okay. How much times uh, in place? Three times, sir. R, control, plus, plus, plus. There we go. I increase it from one to. Press R. Press control. Uh, hold okay. both, by the way. Uh, so press and hold R. Press and hold control. Tap the plus sign. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I already times. increased that. Uh, you increased it. I hope I don't there's, die. There's big mountain in front. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Uh, sim rate back to normal because of stall. Okay, I'm going for right two. Because I am not stalling. I'm. That's a bad mountain right there. We are either going to cross it or we're going to crash, burn, and die. What does the artificial horizon say? It's going to say uh, we barely going to miss it. Oh shit. A lot of work going on here. A lot of work. I'm stalling. No, let's not go down. Let's not go down. Let's not go down. We are not go I said we are not going down. We are literally Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck! So, okay. And the other. <laughs> And this is why you put in the anti-crash. Uh, let's figure out where the flip it went wrong. And let's try to get up. Did you die too? I don't see you moving on the map. I am still alive and I'm waiting for it. You seem to be right on top of me. Okay, I will. I do some turns, so just to wait for it. I'm gonna try to get out of here. I think it's you manage that because you are quite on good place for uh, getting back up. We 
Will you stop stalling? Come on now. Sweet Lord, this is rough. No. Yeah. Oh, come on! Yeah, this is really bad. Really bad. Okay. Moving backwards at full throttle. Something in my mixture must be off. Come on now. Full throttle, barely moving or not moving. What will you do now, may I ask the way? I like to go from some uh, speed so we will like uh, go down and be faster. I'm I'm still trying to get out of here. It is not moving really fast, is it? Well, that's not fucking working, is it? I think I just need to speed uh, a little bit just to move or uh, try to release parking brake if you don't. If you I'm googling a little bit. I'm trying to figure out uh, what I'm doing best, but not yet sure.
And the joy stop stopped responding again. Nice. And my plane is dead. To turn around and buy slow mode. Maybe. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure this out. Ah, shit. Not this again. Try to uh, turn around using... Uh, I think it's... I'm wow. trying to figure out slow mode, uh, just to get some altitude. Uh, altitude is by F4, I think. And if, if you want to... Like, yeah, uh, to turn around uh, to... Ah, oh, F4, never thought of that one. I'm turning to other way is 1 on a uh, number. Uh, or a 3, 1 or 2. <laughs> 1 on keyboard is not to turn. Oh, question, uh, on a uh, number two. Stop. 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 trying to survive again. Even an engine doesn't have a I'm sort of stalling at rather rapid speed. <coughs> engine is starving of oxygen.
Not really sure what you're Not really sure where you are, sir, but I am sure where I am, and that is a place called Deep Trouble. Not like all right in that space. Yeah, that slew thingy uh, made me go space shuttle status. Now what is that alarm? Low vacuum. I haven't seen that one before. And Jim won't start. <laughs> oh my lord. This one is tough. Why are you such at uh, that high up? A little bit high. Say again. But you are a little bit, little bit high. Slightly. I'm trying to get down, but not yet working. Even my engine uh, won't fire up. Because you are so high that your engine doesn't work. Yeah, I it suffocated. At least we don't have to worry about uh, mountains at this altitude, but it is definitely a challenge to get down slightly. At least it doesn't cost us anything, because, well, the engine is off. It is suffocated. So we're basically glider status. Say what? But you are a little bit high. Just a little. Yeah, I'm slightly higher than the aircraft is comfortable with. So, trying to get down.
imagine the reaction of ATC. This is Pop Hotel Bravo Victor Lima, Cessna descending 62,000 for 17,000. <laughs> That would be friggin' hell hilarious, wouldn't it? Stay in the vicinity of the magenta line. Minus 61. I do believe that the computer is miscalculating somewhere. And it's trying. But it still won't cope. Let's try that one. You are still at 40,000 feet. Uh, 40,000 descending. Descending. Uh, AKA dropping like a break. Let's assume that uh, slow mode exists. Let's not use it again, shall we? <laughs> it gets me into a lot of trouble. But I got my engine going.
Let's give this a try. I'm starting. This flight is not the toughest yet, sir. Alright. So, autopilot is still active. And apparently making a loop de loop. Let's hope it picks up on the magenta line. I activated autopilot again and it is now making a 360 at least. Let's figure out what it is trying to do. We are still space shuttle status. Six, uh, Thirty-six thousand and descending. Try to descend a little bit uh, more. That is exactly what I'm trying, sir. I was aiming to go up to 20, but for some reason I didn't figure out uh, the slew because it's the first time I used it. So I ended up slightly higher. It looks like I am uh, gently spiraling down to normal levels, so where the uh, GPS can actually follow the magenta line. It looks like it is doing that. I'm 18 knots now, and no, I'm on normal course again. Yeah, I took over and uh, and now manually making the aircraft going in the right direction. And how about you? You are still descending? I'm on what? Sorry? If are you still descending? A firm. How long? Uh, 32 for 17. It will take some time. Yeah, but for some reason I got my engine going. <laughs> And I'm actually in the right direction, on my way to uh, Juliet Uniform uh, Lima. Okay. 
look on the bright side no mountains to uh, hurt me but I have already suffocated and died because no uh, uh, I don't have any oxygen on board of this plane do you um, I don't know I think I don't know. <laughs> Well, so basically we're both dead, but it looks uh, like you're flying the wrong direction, is that correct? Can you confirm? No, I'm not turning, but I'm a little bit increased, uh, so I will catch you. You're close to Ilmox, correct? Yep. I need to catch you. Look for the... Uh, uh, charcoal uh, Cessna 172 that is just descended from space. <laughs> My lord, how is it possible that a short flight like this can give you so much trouble? And I do believe that somebody is trying or is better experienced at a slew mode than me, at least. Still the other guy, but no sign of Martin. Where the flip is he? And Martin is brutally overtaking me somewhere here. No sign of him. Wait, wait. I saw something blinking here. That might be. Uh, there Are he is. Uh, uh, say again, sir. If you are going to increase sim rate again. Well, not yet. Let's just first get out of trouble. I do think I did see your blinking lights, but I'm not sure. Maybe try to uh, enable vertical speed and try to descend it a bit faster. I literally have no idea how that works, because this is the first time I used SLU ever. No, that's not a SLU mod, that's just autopilot function. If you look uh, on the right side, oh, no, 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 it's on the left side. Uh, there's v VS, Victor Sierra button, and there's nose up and nose down button. And that increases your vertical speed. Uh, a firm, I got that bit. Uh, just put it uh, down to 65 knots, making the aircraft descend at 915 a thousand feet a minute, even. And when it comes to uh, slow mode, let's just say uh, we tried it, let's not try that again, shall we? <laughs> uh, 
Maybe if you get used to it, you you will know how it works. Yeah, it kind of feels like cheating, especially when you go uh, suddenly into space shuttle status with a Cessna 172. Yes, you are a little bit, you did it a little bit higher than I expected. Slightly! Exactly, a little bit. But I'm not enjoying it. Yes, it was a little bit uh, um, cheating. Yeah, and the one time I cheat a little bit, I exaggerate. And yeah, I don't like it. I don't. And imagine. Uh, one of the next few flights, it is going to be even worse. <laughs> and that is why there is less than seven Cessna 172s on the southern hemisphere of South America. Seven Cessnas. Uh, yeah, they were simply not able uh, to cope with the altitudes that are uh, over there, obviously. But like in Brazil, there isn't just uh, so many things. Uh, they use Cessna 280s. Uh, they're turboprops and they're able to get up to the altitudes where you need them to be. I can't find your link, uh, what are your uh, next uh, likes? Where do you have uh, the page with your likes? Oh, fine. Say again? I can't fi find... Uh, okay, I find it. World Strip. System 172. What is your next like? I'm going to show you on screen. Uh, because there's a big, big schedule. Uh, there is already a few flights done. Right? Uh, we are currently doing we are currently doing Alejandro Valesco Acete to El Alto. Then Aeropuerto Andesabella La Florida Yasur, Puerto Aysen, Puerto Teniente Julio Gallardo, Oshaya, and then Stanley. Basically means uh, we have a long way ahead of us. And from Stanley, when are you? Say again? And from Stanley, what happens? Like, I will look on it. Uh, Comrode Rivi, uh, Rivedaria. And I look up it uh, myself. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Excel sheet is somewhere on. Uh, uh, <coughs> okay, uh, Stanley, then. Then uh, Stanley, then Commodoro Rivadavia. Let me look. And the entire chart is somewhere on the Discord. And then, uh, okay. So we are going like to the wall, America. Then climbing again, and like uh, going back uh, north. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we are going back north, uh, all the way up to Canada, North Pole, and then Greenland, uh, back to uh, the United Kingdom, and that'll be the final destination of the uh, uh, of the trip, and then I'm going to fly home like after that. How long do you think it will take? 
Well, it is well above 300 flights. So I started this one uh, two years ago, uh, doing one flight every Sunday. And with my current job, uh, it is impossible to fly every Sunday. So it is extended. I don't know how long it will take, but roughly one flight every maybe two weeks? I don't know. It depends on the job. Okay, that, uh, uh, let's count it. How long it will take? Two flights every month. Uh, 34 flights a minute. Roughly, yeah. Mm. Which means... Uh, 70 months? Is it possible? 70 months? Well, it's not impossible. Uh, and it's simply because of my job. I drive a truck international, a 18 wheeler. Uh, so that is why I am uh, absent uh, some of the times at which I would rather fly. But when I am Hello. on the other side no. of the continent, well, when I'm on the other side of the continent, uh, my laptop is not powerful enough uh, to boot up flight simulator. Point. So impossible. Where are you traveling with your uh, truck, for example? What countries? I'm driving from the Netherlands to Spain and back. And the okay. area of my. Uh, 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 yeah, where I am. Mostly is the Madrid area and the Zaragoza area. How long is the way from Amsterdam to Madrid? How long it takes? Uh, we start in the south of the Netherlands, so Amsterdam is out of the question, but just simply add two hours, uh, which is probably the time it takes uh, to get from Amsterdam to the starting point. <coughs> then it is 17, 18 hours of driving with an 18 wheeler. So you need at least two days to get over there. Oh my god. So four days the light takes uh, like from. Uh, That's a round trip, but you forget about uh, unloading and reloading. So we are sleeping in our truck? Of course, that's my second home. What brand of truck do you have? I have a what Volvo brand? FH and it's got 500 horsepower, which is approximately uh, 455 more horsepower than my usual car. And that's a Chevrolet. Okay, how are you uh, are you already descended? Have you already descended? Nineteen eight and descending. We are descending just to nineteen thousand, not seventeen thousand. I'm at uh, nineteen seven descending for well lower <laughs> nineteen is what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, in a week I'm going for, uh, to hide soon for the first time. Are you still a holiday? Okay. Yes, it's, uh, school starts uh, from 4th September. So just the week. Next Monday I will go to school for the first time, for high school for the first time. It's quite 
nice life man. change. Nice. It's going to be a great time. I don't think so. <laughs> well, I've been in high school as well as you are about to start to, and I had a blast of a time. Why? Because I made sure I made the best of it. because last time that got me into trouble uh, and speaking of trouble I will be uh, off for about two minutes be right back And we're back. I'm back, Martin. Whereabouts okay. are you? I'm. You know, you need to descend a little bit still. Yeah, I'm still at 19.2. Uh, I see you on the map. Rudder in front of me. What about increasing the time now? So I think. I may start to descend right after the month right after the mountain range. Okay, can can uh, the space increase the time? And you need to fix your autobot because it doesn't descend. You are stuck at nineteen thousand two hundred. Well I set it to nineteen thousand. So I Try will to uh, decrease to uh, sixteen after the mountains. We try to at least descend to 19,000. That's gonna be a challenge. I think you need to just activate uh, altitude so we'll descend to 19,000. If you're hand flying the, uh, the machine, it is going to be a challenge to get it to 19. Okay, there's turbulence, big turbulence. Let's try and get a little bit closer to him. Ten 
10 miles from Jewel. Copy, uh, say again. If for me, I increase sim rate or wait for you. Well, we started off together, I waited for you. I waited for you. <laughs> oh. Let me try Your and get a little bit descending. closer to you. Your point is on descending. Maybe try to. Activate the altitude or something. Your point isn't this. It's a bit. Try to activate vertical speed. Okay, and activate it to 17,000 feet. Are you turning around? Yes, I am. For you, I'm trying to get you. Okay. Uh, okay, and change your altitude now to 17,000, so you won't descend to 9,000. 9, How the hell do you know I'm descending to 9? I have your stream on the other monitor. Aha! Well, at least it is better than going space shuttle status. I still don't see you and that annoys me. <laughs> 26 miles from Elaco. Okay, I'm increasing some light also. Check. Well, there is nobody else online in the area. No ATC. Nobody to call out to. Okay, you are descending. Where are you descending to? I think it's quite here, so. I think that currently uh, 900,000 is okay. 500. What? I got a 500 call. Going back up.
shit. Okay, I started to descend. And <laughs> what are you doing? From wow, wow. You are <laughs> in water. I'm washing the wheels, yes. Okay, okay. That's okay. Low fuel. Why you say it's I'm low on fuel? I think you will need to use your good friend for the slow mode. Trying to save myself, and currently it looks like I'm doing just that. You only need to get hard. Yeah. I don't think you will take off from uh, water. It's not water play. Yeah, I'm going back to uh, 17. I thought uh, nine or thousand was enough because of uh, it being inland sea, but I was wrong. <laughs> there again and it's not exactly helping I think you wanted to get a little bit high Fuck this. Apparently, I tapped it again a little bit too long. Good lord. What are you doing? I'm dying? Apparently I tapped it again a little bit too long to get back on track. Okay, uh, if you zoom out you can do, go by F1. By F1 you can go lower. Is F1 slower? No, lower. Okay, if you zoom out and by F1 you are going to a little bit lower. So you won't need to descend from 40,000 feet. Uh, thanks for that. Um, my F1 uh, key is used so often it got stuck. <laughs> so I had to beat the keyboard a bit. Uh, yeah, let's figure this one out. You can try to somehow enable autopilot.
Oh shit. Well, I didn't die yet. And let's head back to the magenta line. What do you know about the airport? Is it at uh, 17 or lower? Uh, okay, what's the elevation? Uh, elevation of the airport is 13,000 feet, 13,300 13, feet. 13? No wonder I was washing the wheels. I was aiming at 9. <laughs> I am low on fuel, but oh luckily I am really close to that. Uh, hope you made it. I think so. I'm uh, right behind you, back at normal speed. Me too. Okay, start arrival. Arrival. Uh, don't want any arrival. I want approach. Yeah, I'm going to hand fly this one in. I'm not trusting anything over here anymore. I nearly died twice. Actually, I did. Okay, I'm down inbound Bukan Waypoint, and then uh, I will be established runway heading. I'm 16 and a half nautical miles away from the airport. So, in theory, we can already see it. Down the speed a little bit. Airport should be right in front of this range. We should. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, follow him. I have a runway inside. Clear the land. So landing lights on. Stop. Like, it may be on a 10,000 feet, but Stop. how can Stop. they even break, break here? Like, I've got a stall warning again, come on. I don't understand how people can break here. They feet and so stop, I think this stop, in this city uh, a lot of people like can sleep. Have like problems. 
I think most of the people here, uh, they got different type of cars uh, compared to what we drive. Come again? Like they have the same cars like us. It's like North American cars. Like yeah, Toyota, probably a little bit them. different fuel because uh, it is impossible to drive. Is it difficult to brand in La Paz? Breathlessness is a uh, part of everyday life. Yeah, and beyond this leg, there's going to be even more difficulties. Drink at least two lit liters of water per day and if possible more. Do not eat heavy foods. Avoid fatty foods and try to consume only carbohydrates. Use of drugs as... Uh, Okay, you need to sleep good, uh, don't eat Coca Cola and alcohol. Okay, it's quite hard to achieve that. Yeah. Well, I when I'm driving my 500 horse, uh, uh, the Volvo uh, FH, I am really glad, really glad we do not get a lot further above. Uh, uh, 2,000 meters, aka 4,300 feet, because even that mighty beast would suffocate. Six miles, let's take it down a little bit. It's a very good look in here. How even even playing this and we to 10,000 feet? Airport in sight. Uh, I'm interested how playing this and to 10,000 feet when they have some pressurization failures. Watch me. Okay, let's do bottom. Okay, I'm on ground. Alright, both the cars will hand flying this puppy in right now.
lining up slowly. Okay, the plan has to promote Steven to speed up. Not yet, I'm getting my altitude correct first. Interesting. Say again? That it looks so interesting here. It looks like I'm lined up. Okay, I'm now back hitting the wrong way. I want to get out of there because Papa's coming in hot. <laughs> 500. And then it is the first time I wanted to hear the 500 without panicking. Quite long runway, so have Look at the burgers. They say I am doing perfectly. First landing this video that I actually. Doing voluntarily. That was right. Now let's figure out where to fucking go. Oh, there's a left somewhere. Left should be mine. We're still at twelve thousand five hundred feet. Just concrete slabs here.
aircraft is pulling to the left, but I try to correct this. And there is the high speed exit and obviously designed for a okay. 172. Going now. Um, I've spent uh, some other flight with someone. Still don't see you, buddy. Uh, you're on the map, but that's it. Uh, that's probably not me. Uh, I'm going now. And uh, so, verify next Sunday or the next next Sunday? Well, uh, the upcoming Sunday is out of the question because uh, I will be on the road. And right after that, uh, I will be back on that Sunday. Okay. Uh, I think we <coughs> will wrap me or something. Say what? Then thanks you for flying, I think. Well, thank you for flying with me. Okay. Uh, bye. I think I finally see him. So let's park our plane right there, next to him, let's start braking. Put it on the yellow line nicely. Okay, this is as nice as it is going to get today. Parking brake engaged. Switch off the engine. And the batteries. And that is going to be it for this video. Now, did I lie about this going to be a challenging uh, fight, uh, flight? I think not. Everybody participating died. At least once. So, yeah. Uh, that is going to be it for this uh, episode. And we'll see you again next time.